Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to unbuild a product. Breaking down a finished product into its component and bringing back to the stock is known as unbuild a product. When you manufacture a product and the manufactured product is defective, but you do not need to set it as defective product or uh, you don't want to set it as scrap product. In such cases, you can unbuild the product and can be reused. So let's see how we can manage and build a, a product in Odo 16 manufacturing module. For that, you can just get into the manufacturing module. And let me first create a BOM. In order to create a BOM, you can just go to the product menu. So let me create a BOM for table. So we know um, a BOM that consists several products in order to manufacture a single unit of an item. So let me uh, give the name of the product as table and we know that uh, in order to manufacture a table we need certain components such as screw and here you can mention the quantity that you require and the other product is bolt 20 quantity then we need table leg with 4 quantity and we also require a tabletop with one quantity. So let me save this and we also need to perform a so I mean operation for this BOM. So in order to perform uh, the operation, you can just click on add a line or from the configuration settings, we have operations and we can create a new uh, operation. So let me uh, yeah give the operation as assembling product and here you can choose a bill of material that is table is a bill of material that we have created after that you can choose a work center in order to assemble this product so let me save this and when you back to the BOM that you have created you can see that the operation will be automatically configured here and you would be able to see uh, the yeah the uh, operation is automatically configured so let me give the reference as unbuilt table be the reference okay and after that we need to uh, create a manufacturing order for this bill of material so in order to create a manufacturing order for this you can just move on to the operations menu and let me create a new one here you can choose the bill of material. So when you choose the bill of material, all other details will be automatically configured. So here you can see we have choose a bill of material and currently you can see all the components and all. And under work orders also you can see the operation, work center, product and quantity. Everything is strong. Now let me save uh, this manufacturing order. So uh, and you can confirm this. As you confirm this, uh, you can set the plan for the work order so you can just click on plan in order to plan uh, this and you can start uh, the work order in the work center so once you have done with your work order you can just click on done button so that will be marked here with the real duration and uh, here you can also see the expected duration is 60 once uh, you have done with your manufacturing order you can just click as mark as done so here you can see you have consumed a different quantity than expected uh, and if you want to confirm this you can uh, confirm that by setting the confirmed I mean uh, the consumed quantity so let me uh, confirm that yeah let me set and validate so here we need to provide lot of serial number or you can directly uh, set it as uh, 10 so we have done with the manufacturing order now so currently we have manufactured the product that is stable now the product is defective or due to some other reason we need to disassemble this product or unbuild this product into different components that is screw uh, then bolt as well as table top table leg and all so you can just click on unbuild directly from the manufacturing order or you can also manage the unbuilt operation from the operation tab so here you can see unbuilt so if you want to unbuild a product you can just click on new button and here you can choose a product as well as bill of uh, material 
So let me choose the bill of material first. Uh, here you can see the bill of material and build a table and here you can also give uh, the product name as table. And uh, we have a manufacturing order in order to unbuild this product. So you can choose uh, that product, uh, I mean that manufacturing order corresponding uh, of correspondence in with this product. So you can choose that and you can see the source location as well as destination location over here. So once you unbuild this product, the product will be uh, backing to its actual location which is a source location so the source location and destination location are same now so if you want to change the destination location it is possible to change the destination location okay so let me save the unbuilt orders and currently it's in its uh, draft state and when you click on unbuild you can see the product will be uh, unbuilt which means uh, currently it's disassembled and make it as components which can be reused again and you can see the product movement over here so the product table is currently unbuilt and uh, it has moved from the stock to its virtual location with one quantity and you can also see uh, the reference will be ub because we are unbuilding the product so the reference will be starting with uh, ub uh, and here you can see the uh, other components such as bolt and screw with its quantity as shown here now when you back to the inventory module uh, you can see uh, the reporting uh, under the move history. So here you can see one product has moved uh, and it is possible to find the unbuilt uh, of the component. And here you can see the reference, uh, the date and time, as well as the product that has moved from his warehouse stock to the virtual location of production. So unbuilding help you to disassemble the product uh, if uh, the product is defective or in some other cases we need to reuse the uh, yeah manufactured product uh, product so that's all about the video hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching